Now, the monitor I'm about to show you surprised the hell out of me. And the reason being is I didn't expect much out of it when this company called Innocent reached out to me to see if I wanted to review their 4K 27 inch monitor. And I said, well, it's probably just one of your run of the mill 27 inch uh, monitors. It happens to be 4K. Boy, was I wrong. This is a really nice monitor that covers the color gamut really well, has great color accuracy. In fact, they call it the art monitor. So it's really geared towards content creators, although it does support FreeSync and it really does bring a lot to the table with its HDR 400 display. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the Innocent 27 inch 4K art display coming up. You can pick up the Innocent 27 inch art monitor for the price of $448.99 over at Amazon. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information and where you can buy one. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. You get some documentation, which includes setup information, a 150 watt power adapter, along with the power cord. And of course you get the base and the stand. You get a bunch of cables, including a display port, USB-C and other cables. And of course you get the monitor itself. Now holding it for the first time and what really surprises me is how good the build quality is, especially for this price point. Now the matte display on it looks really nice. I'm sure it's going to have a really nice image quality with its 4K resolution. All the ports are located on the bottom. You get two USB-A ports, one USB-B port, two HDMI ports, one display port, one Type-C port, an audio jack, and finally your DC in to power this monitor. Setup was super easy. Just put in the arm into the slot as you see here. It snaps right in. Put it onto the base, snaps right in. And of course, you screw it in tight. Make sure it's not loose and you're ready to go. Now, the base allows you to swivel the monitor 45 degrees in any direction. And it can go up and down vertically as you see here and you could pull it forward or move it back as you see fit. Now the power button lights up letting you know the monitor is on and you have all your buttons and menu commands all in the same row as you see here. And here it is all set up connected to my Dell XPS 13 9310 via USB-C. Now this is geared towards content creators. It's called the art display and for good reason. As you can see from these numbers, this is some really nice metrics that this display can produce. Uh, resolution 3840 by 2160. That's a 4K UHD resolution with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. 400 nit display in terms of the brightness, which is very good. Good black levels, good white points, a good contrast, and a low Delta E score of 1.02. Means that this is a color accurate display. Anything below two is considered color accurate. And it covers the color gamut really well. 100% sRGB, 93% Adobe RGB, 90% of the DCI P3 wide color gamut, and 87% NTSC. So if you are a content creator, this is gonna be great for Lightroom, Photoshop, color grading, and of course, video editing. Now, one thing to note, this is a 60 Hertz display. It's not meant to be a gaming monitor. So if you want something with a higher refresh rate, I would look elsewhere. But if you are a content creator or a general purpose use user, then you're going to be perfectly fine with this beautiful high resolution display. Now, I noticed that the viewing angles were very good on this. And again, it is an IPS display, so I'm not surprised by that has some pretty deep blacks. It looks really nice. Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with this 4K monitor. And it's also an HDR 400 display. Watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube in high dynamic range has been excellent on this panel. And even though this is not a gaming monitor per se, it does support FreeSync. Now this Innocent monitor comes with dual 5 watt speakers which get surprisingly loud and sound actually pretty good considering these are built in speakers for a monitor which traditionally are not very good. But I gotta say they sound pretty decent. I'll tell you what, I can honestly say I'm pleasantly surprised with how good this monitor is. It's great coverage of the color gamut, 
good color accuracy, the really deep blacks, the vibrant colors, everything you'd want in a monitor. Now, of course, like I said, not a gaming monitor at limited to only 60 hertz, but as far as a monitor to do color grading, to do Photoshop, Lightroom, video editing, this really is a great choice, especially at a great price. So if you're interested, again, I'll leave a link in the description below, but I think Innocent produced a really nice monitor at a really good price. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. So what do you think about the 4K display from Innocent? Pleasant, pleasant surprise. And one of the things I love about it, not only is it's beautiful 4K HDR 400 display, but the fact that it comes in at a great price. Now you can pick this up over at Amazon for $448. Uh, links will be in the description below. So if you wanna pick it up, I highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, it's a really nice design in terms of the monitor. Good 45 degree swivel action in any direction. It goes up, it goes down vertically, of course, and it, you can put it back and forward as I showed you in the video. Uh, pretty no nonsense, right to the point kind of monitor. Excellent uh, resolution on it, 3840 by 2160. It's a 400 nit display, so it's definitely bright. It's a matte or matte-ish display, it's not glossy, so you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections, and that's been pretty good. And again, at $448, a 27-inch monitor that you can actually color grade, you can do Photoshop, you can do Lightroom, video editing on, that to me is a steal. But I'm curious to know what you think, let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.